I would like to take a minute to walk through the process of embedding images in a discussion thread for Art 1280 Photoshop software. There's a more comprehensive video that is included inside the discussions. I'm going to add this to that playlist at the very end in case the screen that you see is slightly different. So from time to time, the process will alter slightly for embedding the images or what you see on screen might be different. And so I'm just going to walk through embedding an image. Um, the easiest way to do that on May 22nd, 2020, at the start of the summer semester. Um, the process should be very similar to the embedded videos that are already in Canvas, but this is just in case you want a quick walkthrough or if you don't want to learn all of the different details. So first and foremost, to respond to a discussion, you're going to scroll to the bottom of the discussion and hit reply. Do not hit reply on someone else's post. It should be the very first reply option you have. If anyone has responded to the discussion, it will be above their responses. You want to have your own thread for your response. There are a couple of different ways to embed an image. I will show you all three very, very quickly. The first is that if the image is already on the internet, so if this is the image I want to embed in my discussion, you can right click an image and hit copy image address. So if if you're taking my InDesign class and I ask you to share examples of packaging design, you can find packaging design on the internet, copy and paste the URL, come to Canvas. There is a little mountain icon that says embed image. You can paste the URL as long as it directs right to a picture and hit update. And that image will automatically be embedded. Once it's in there, you can click and drag the corners to make it smaller. Try not to post like ginormous images that will take up the whole screen. Um, when in doubt, make it smaller. We can always right click it and choose to open in a new tab and then it will expand. So the easiest way is if you have a clean URL that takes you directly to an image. While we're at it, if you try to embed an image that is not a web image, so it's not an image that can be displayed on the web, you're going to get an error. So in general, for our class, we'll use PNG files or we'll use JPEG files. The second option is what we'll have to use for our class. So you're going to create things and you want to post what you're creating on the internet. I recommend Google Drive for our class. So all the instructions will be for Google Drive, but you can use any service that works for you that you can store your images on. When you log into Google Drive, you're going to go to drive.google.com. And when you get there, you're going to find the sign in button and then you're going to sign in with your Bruin Mail account. So my Bruin Mail is jcurrent5 at bruinmail.slcc.edu. It will redirect you to a login and then you will log in with your SLCC username and password. Do not try to log in with jcurrent5 because Google does not see your username as jcurrent5. It sees your username as jcurrent5 at bruinmail.slcc.edu or whatever your Bruin Mail actually is. Once you come to Canvas, I highly recommend making a folder for our class, Art 1280 Photoshop Software, and then make a folder inside that folder for everything that you do this semester. So when you go to take the Module 2 exam, make a folder and then put all the images for the exam in that one folder so that they're easy to get back to. But also, you can send me a link to the folder instead of getting four or five or six different URLs and wasting that time during the exam, you can give me a link to the folder, submit that same link for all five of those open-ended questions, and then I can download all of your images at once. But that's another conversation for another day. When you're working on skills practices, some skills practices you only have to upload one image, but some you have to upload eight images. So I recommend making a folder for each lesson and then upload your images into that folder. So to create a new folder, you'll hit new folder. And if you want to upload something, you can literally drag it and drop it, but you can also choose new file upload. And that's how I got this JPEG into the folder. So I want to submit this JPEG. This is my project I've been working on. This is what I want to show the class that I have done. There are a couple of ways to get this into the discussion. The easiest way is to double click the image. It will open. Note that I'm not looking at the image. I'm looking at the image on a page. So if I was to copy and paste this URL up here, so command or control C on your keyboard, 
and follow the same steps that we just followed for the image URL. So we'll hit the little embed image and we'll paste the URL. Watch what happens. You get like a little yellow circle error and the image doesn't embed. That's because this is not a link or a URL to an image. It is a URL to a page, but it's okay. That is perfectly okay. You can command or control V to paste. Make sure you hit the space bar on your keyboard if the link is not blue and clickable. By hitting the space bar, it will become blue and clickable. Um, it is frustrating to have to copy and paste all those URLs. And so I can almost guarantee you that if you do not make your link blue and clickable, none of your classmates will take the time to copy it, to create a new tab, paste it, and redirect. But very easily, if it's blue and clickable, they can click on it. It will take them to Google and they can be like, wow, so-and-so did a really great job on those orange bikes. Now, what if you don't wanna be the person that has the links? You wanna have an image. You want someone to scroll through the discussion and you want them to see your image right away. And I hope that you can't hear the loud uh, trash truck that is driving by my house right now. Um, you still can do it, it's just more work. And I wanna emphasize that it's not the end of the world if you paste the URL. But if you really want to embed your images, you have a few more steps. So when you're looking at the image, we cannot right click to get the URL like we did on an image that's uploaded on the internet. It's not possible in Google Drive. But what we can do is we can hit the three links in the top right hand corner and we can choose to open in a new window. And then I'm gonna do that and you're gonna say, well, Jessica, it looks identical and it does. But now if we go up to the top right hand corner and we hit the three dots and scroll down, we can choose to embed the item. When you do this, it gives you an HTML code that will embed the image on a website. So I'm gonna copy the whole thing, Command or Control C on the keyboard and select OK. This is where it gets a little weird. So when you are replying and you're making your initial post, you no longer can use the embed image button. Instead, you have to come over here to HTML editor and paste the HTML code. If you want to see what it looks like, go back and click on rich content editor. And now your image is embedded in canvas and the class will be able to see it. Now there's one more level to this that we need to discuss. Even if you can see your image, it does not mean that the class can see the image. So when you upload something, let me close out of these extra windows. When you upload something to Google Drive and you upload it in your at Bruin Mail account, your SLCC account, Salt Lake Community College has chosen the default privacy settings for your image. And so if I select this image and I hit the little share link icon, by default, the share setting will be off. It will look like this. So before you do any of the stuff that we just talked about, you need to select the thing that you're going to embed on Canvas. You need to turn the link sharing on, and you will notice that the default setting says anyone at Salt Lake Community College with a link can view the image. Now that means that everyone in our class can see it. But if they are not logged into their Google Drive and they're trying to look at the image that's embedded on Canvas, they will not be able to see the image and you will get comments that say, I can't see your image, it's a broken link, etc. What I highly recommend is that you go one step further and hit click on share settings. Instead of anyone at Salt Lake Community College can view, you're going to click on the drop down and choose more and choose anyone with the link can view. It really is not a huge difference. Um, because no one's going to get your link unless you share it with them. You're going to embed the image, so they're just going to be able to see it in Canvas. So change the privacy settings to anyone with the link and hit Save. And now, that embedded image, no matter who logs into Canvas, they will be able to see it because they don't have to be logged into Google to see it. I will make one more video showing the difference between um, anyone at Salt Lake Community College and anyone with the link just so you can get an idea of what happens.